IPv6 address. In this video, I'm going to talk about IPv6 address, but first I want to review the IPv4 address structure and after that we can go to the IPv6 address. Look at here. We have IPv4 address and we learned about IPv4 address in the previous lessons. You know that IPv6 v4 address contain 32 bits. Means in IPv4 address we have 32 bits 0 and 1. You know that bit means binary digit and binary digits are 0 and 1. Because of that, for example, one IP address can contain 32 bits 0 or 1. Let me to show you one IP one IPv4 address. For example, we have 8 x and this 8 x can be 0 or 1 again another 8 bits okay 8 and then 8 and then 8 32 bit or 32 x for example every x can be 0 or 1 okay this is an ip v4 address and also you know that we can divide this ip v4 address to four parts and between every eight bits we can use the for example dot and now we have four part that separated from each other with dots now we have four part in every part we have eight bits okay and after that we normally uh, convert every eight bits or every for example octet you know that the name of every 8 bit is octet is one octet or for example one byte we should convert for easier usage we should convert every octet from binary to decimal okay you know this decimal and this means that after converting to decimal we have four number four decimal number for example 192 168 11 this means that these eight bits converted to decimal and now we have one decimal number and again these eight bits converted to decimal and we have another decimal number finally we have four part and in each part we have a number a decimal number because of that we call this type of representation of for example ipv4 address dotted decimal notation dotted decimal notation why because first we converted these bits to decimal okay and after that we separated every part with dot because of that we call it dotted decimal notation this is an ipv4 okay you know you learn about ipv4 and you understand easily the structure of the ipv4 now it's time of ipv6 you know that in ipv6 we have more bits okay let's talk about ipv6 first i want to say that in ipv6 address in every ipv6 address we have more bits and the number of bits as maybe you know is 128 bits okay and this means that we have 128 0 and 1 for example assume that this num this uh, for example x every x has one uh, has con value of uh, 1 or 0 now because we need 128 bit we need 16 8 bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 this is an ipv6 address okay 128 bits if i ask you that can you use this ip address in your for example addressing maybe you say me it's so hard because this ip address is so long how we can use it okay 
In IPv6 address also we have some rules for easier usage of the IPv6 address. Okay, the first rule is that we are using the hexadecimal format or hexadecimal base in representing the IPv6 address. You know that in the IPv4 address we are using decimal. Okay, this means that we should convert, for example, every eight bits or one octet to a decimal value okay but in ipv6 address we are using hexadecimal to convert for example every i uh, every bits in ipv4 to a character in hexadecimal notation let's first talk about how we can convert a the binary digit or a binary number to a hexadecimal number you know that every four bits in binary means in base two okay can convert to a character in hexadecimal for example quad zero means zero in hexadecimal zero zero one means one zero zero one zero means two one for example zero zero one one means three uh, again one zero zero one one okay then zero one zero zero equals four then zero one zero one equals five then zero one one zero zero one one zero equals six zero one 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 equals seven then one zero 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 equals eight after that one zero zero one equals nine then one zero one zero equals a okay this is a number this is a character in the hexadecimal notation and then one zero one one equals b one one zero zero okay equals c one one zero one equals d and then one 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 zero equals e finally quad one equals f this means that you can write you can represent every four bits in the for example ipv6 address with a character in ip in in the hexadecimal notation we should convert binary okay to hexadecimal or hex hexadecimal the hexadecimal means 2 to 16 okay because we need a more compressed form of IPv6 address. You know that in IPv6 address we have 128 bits. Okay. And this is the large number of bits. Now, how we can convert? For example, you should first divide or convert every four bits in the uh, binary form of IPv6 address to one, for example, hexadecimal character or hex character means binary to hex conversion. Okay, look at here. Now I configured, uh, for example, 128 bits IPv6 address, and I want to show you how you can convert these long numbers, this long zero and bits, to an IPv6 address in hex notation. This is an IPv6 address in binary base. Okay, you know that it's hard to us to working with this IP address because of that we should convert it to the for example hexadecimal notation how we can convert it you should select every you should convert every four bits means four binary digit okay to a hex character let me to show you here we have zero zero one you know that zero zero one if you want to convert it to the for example ipv6 address okay is equal or you convert it to a hex not a number a hex character is equal to one because of that we should use one for these four bits again zero zero one zero 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 one zero if you check here is equal to a two into the hex notation Again, 0011. 0011 here is equal to 3. And then we have 010. 010 is equal to 4 if you check this table. Okay. And then 0101 means 5. 
if we want to convert it to the hex notation and then zero one one zero this means that six after that okay look at here 